Good afternoon and welcome to another Tea with the Vicar. Cheers, I hope you've got a cuppa and a bicky at the ready. This week uh, we're doing meditations on the words that Jesus said on the cross for this Easter week. Oh, my bicky of choice today is a, a Scotty shortbread and uh, I hope you're all enjoying your biscuits too. But I'm going to start just by reading Luke 23 from verse 32. Two others, both criminals, were led out to be executed with Jesus. When they came to a place called the Skull, they nailed him to the cross and the criminals were also crucified, one on his right and one on his left. Jesus said, forgive them for they know not what they do. What utter and total love is found in these words. In his pain and agony, Jesus wants to forgive his tormentors. It just seems ridiculous almost to me. No malice, no hate, but just love, pure love. Father, forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. But those words that Jesus spoke in agony are for us too, as John writes in his first letter. But if we confess our sins to him, he can be depended on to forgive us and to cleanse us from every wrong. And it's perfectly proper for God to do this for us because Christ died to wash away our sins. Not only is God willing to forgive the sins that we don't realise that we're committing, he's also ready and willing to forgive us those times when we're fully aware that we're not doing what God would want us to do. Which is good news for me because sometimes I turn my back on God. But when we come back to him and ask for forgiveness, he's ready and willing to forgive us. Jesus gives us forgiveness. But like anything given, we do have to take it for ourselves. It's up to us if we receive that gift of forgiveness or not. And when we do, we're told in Psalm 103 verse 13, God has removed our sins as far from us as the east from the west. And that's incredible news. But he hasn't just forgiven us. He then tells us that we're his very special children. John 1 verse 12 says to all who receive him he gives them the right to be called children of God. And I've got a few questions for you today. Do you really believe that God has forgiven your sins? Do you take time on a regular basis to say sorry to God for the wrongs that you've done so that you might enjoy the freedom of forgiveness? That freedom that can only be found in Jesus. Do you need to experience God's forgiveness in a fresh way today? Shall we pray? Dear Lord, though I believe at one level that you've forgiven me, this amazing truth still at times needs to penetrate my heart in new ways. Help me to know with fresh conviction that I am fully and finally forgiven, not because of anything I have done, but because of what you have done for me. May I live today as a forgiven person, opening my heart to you, choosing not to sin because the power of sin has been broken by your death on the cross. Thank you, Jesus, for that amazing love, so wonderfully demonstrated by your words on the cross. Father, Forgive them, for they know not what they are doing. Amen. So, I hope you'll join me tomorrow for another reflection on the words of Jesus whilst he was on the cross. And remember, we can have calm in the chaos and faith over fear and peace over the panic when we put God in charge of our lives. Be blessed and have a good day.